Hello, my name is Tim Collins from the DigiVac Company, where we design and manufacture vacuum instrumentation and scientific controls. And I'm here today to talk to you about our vacuum four line solution. What this solution does for you is it maintains a vacuum inside your high vacuum chamber, keeps contaminants out of that high vacuum chamber, and allows in situ testing of your four line pump. What it's composed of is a four line measuring gauge. Uh, this is our model 22W. We've got an isolation valve. We've got a, a um, vacuum brake valve. We've got all the associated wiring wired back into the pump power. That is, the valves turn on when the pump turns on, and the valves turn off when the pump turns off. And also a switch to uh, allow manual activation of the uh, isolation valve. So let's turn on this thing and see what happens. First thing that happens, the vacuum brake valve closes. Now our four line is pulling down in vacuum. Right now, we've got a resting pressure of our high vacuum vessel at 630 millitour. Not low enough to turn on a turbo or do anything really useful in the high vacuum range. In several moments, you're going to see this isolation valve. It's going to open. And what that's going to do is connect the four line to the exhaust port of the turbo pump, allowing the high vacuum chamber to turn down. There we go. Now we're pulling down 300, 200, 100 millitour. We're about to get below 100 millitour where we can turn on the turbo pump and start our process. And that's where we want to start. Okay, 99 millitour. Uh oh, power edge. What do we do? We're good, we've got the interlock solution. So everything works as expected. The vacuum brake valve lets the four line come up to atmosphere. And we're maintaining a pressure of 200 millitour after this power edge. We can just go right back and start our vacuum process at a much better place. So come visit us at digivac.com and thanks for watching.